Give me a ride in your sub. I want a ride in your sub. My name is Brian Matters, and I'm the co-captain of the University of Washington's human-powered submarine team. A human-powered submarine is merely a pedal-powered submarine. It's fully flooded inside, unlike a normal submarine, which requires us to wear scuba gear for life support. We dive to about a 20 feet and uh, pedal to our heart's content. I have to submerge without any life support gear breathing off of, a, uh, off of one of the support divers' tanks. Uh, today was the first time we were going to close the hatch and actually lock the pilot in the submarine. So that was a bit of what was going through my mind. How is they gonna get a uh, take being locked in a small tube underwater, uh, breathing off of a, uh, off of a hose? Uh, it was successful. I overcome my fears of being uh, underwater in the submarine. So to become a human-powered submarine pilot, or to even build a human-powered submarine, we really look into physics. We have to design and build our submarine. We've been able to take our understanding of fluid dynamics, for instance, or uh, statics physics, and apply it to a real-world situation. The purpose of this team, other than uh, to perform research, is to race the submarine. We are competing in the International Submarine Races, or ISR, in Bethesda, Maryland, and we're going up against other uh, college teams. What I'm looking into is trying to find a, uh, uh, an occupation designing and uh, engineering for the underwater uh, environment. We spend a lot of money trying to, uh, trying to break free of our gravity when about uh, three quarters of our world is still unexplored and that's under the ocean. Through high school I learned some math and uh, geometry, trigonometry, and to be honest I hated it. Uh, one thing I realized pretty quickly though was these are the tools to help my dreams build. Uh, there are a lot of uh, interesting challenges that have to do with uh, ocean uh, exploration so there's a lot of research that has to be done uh, still in order for us to be able to understand what the oceans have to offer us.